One state lawmaker says it's time to put guidelines in place for the banning of books in schools and libraries. Stephanie, uh, Stephanie Manichi explains why. We've seen almost twice the number of potential book bans just across the nation. So there's been a huge uptick in this type of activity. Which is why Senator Cindy Holscher thinks it's time to put some rules in place. She's introduced a bill that requires people protesting books at public libraries to read them first, then provide a list of reasons for the ban. It would also require 5% of the residents in a school district sign a petition before a book ban could be requested at a school library. She feels sometimes people utilize the broadcasted board meetings as an opportunity to get their 15 minutes of fame. We sometimes find that it's the same people going from one school board meeting to another, from district to district with some of these issues. So the latest round has been on book bans. Holscher says many of the books being targeted cover topics on LGBTQ and racial issues. You may remember the case in Sterling, where a library board member stands accused of mistaking a rainbow-colored autism awareness display for an LGBTQ display and getting the librarians fired. While her bill is not directly related to this incident, Holscher says the uptick in book bans calls for rules in place. People are just tired of school board meetings turning into a circus over these issues and are saying, we want to get back to the regular business. Holscher is optimistic that with rules in place, meetings will return to normal. We are basically waiting for a hearing. I will tell you there have been a number of messages that I've received that are very positive about this bill um, because not only from the librarian's standpoint, but from the parental standpoint. Stephanie Manici, Cake News on your side.